Last time we learned that Cody did take a picture, one that suggests the scene of the crime was actually Studio 2. Now can we prove who really killed Jackhammer? Find out right now on Ace Attorney. Oh, hello. What a do, Penny? What are you doing here? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess WP won't be using it anymore, so... What? What? Why? WP's innocent! Yes, and I'm really grateful for all you've done, but... This week is the last episode of The Steel Samurai. What? No! What do you mean, The Last Steel Samurai? I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it now. Whoever really did kill Mr. Hammer also signed The Steel Samurai's death warrant. No! No! Also, I hear that Global Studios is going to change its programming. They're not going to make kids shows anymore. Wh what? Why? I don't know. It's sad, but that's what Global Studios decided. Ladies, can we talk about the show later? I was wondering if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. On the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. Huh? He stole the Steel Samurai costume too! What? Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Because the clothes make the man? Oh, I guess the rumor must be true then. The rumor? Rumor has it. Yeah, Miss Vasquez, the producer, had some kind of hold on Hammer. She had some dirt on him. He'd do anything she said, apparently. Some dirt? Dirt. You know, bad stuff. About five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during filming. After that, they never used Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was, too. Film set, interesting. All right, so back to the topic I know you ladies really want to talk about. Why aren't the studios gonna make kid shows anymore? The studio bigwigs don't want the Steel Samurai around anymore. They want to forget all this ever happened. They want it quiet, you understand? How can they just do that? What about all the kids who love Steel Samurai? It's okay, I'm sure the kids will be fine. They'll find a new hero to follow. Oh, that can't be true. If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure. Nick, say something. What do you want me to say, Maya? I'm a lawyer, not a TV executive. I think evidence rather than words is called for here. Penny, I want to show you something. Now, I know it doesn't look like much, but a fan collected all these photographs. The kids love the Steel Samurai. The show shouldn't be canceled just so adults can save face. I would think you would understand that better than anyone. Hmm, you're right. But what can I do? Well, for starters, you can help us with our investigation. Tell me about that incident that happened five years ago. Well, I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently, five years ago, someone died, and it was Hammer's fault. It was an accident, of course. The producer, Miss Vaquez, managed to hush it up. Ah, I see. And that's the dirt that she had on Mr. Hammer? And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Miss Vasquez asked him to do! But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. They were afraid about what would happen to his career if work got out. You know who knows more about this? Miss Oldbag. She was here at the studios back then, you know. Oh, I'm sure she was. If anyone has seniority around here, it's gonna be Wendy Oldbag. She was probably security guard for Shakespeare's plays. I heard that. What are you whippersnappers doing still slinking around here? If you like the place so much, why don't you take over for me? The old windbag doesn't look so good. Yeah, well, you know, pride yourself, hippie. Everybody's doing their darndest to forget Hammer. Who do they think made Global Studios what it is today? It was Hammer. It's all due to Hammer. He's starting to froth at the mouth, Nick. Maybe we should keep a safe distance. Which is why I'm gonna stand behind you, Maya. Um, Miss Oldbag, I wanted to ask you about five years ago. What? All right! Who told? Who did you hear that from? I, uh... Nichols. Huh? Nichols? I don't have any money, I'm sorry! Nichols, Nick. Penny Nichols, that assistant we talked to. Oh, right, the trading card girl. Listen, it doesn't matter who told us. The point is, we heard about the accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed a man. Didn't he? What? snappers? This is unbelievable! Dredging up dirt on someone's past like that, and the reason they departed no less! I suppose you think this is fun? No, no, not at all. I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. Oh, I know what you're doing. Claim that Hammer stole Powers' costume. You expect me to believe that rubbish? Honestly, kids today throwing out accusations willy-nilly. Well, back in my day, we didn't do such things. Actually, Miss Oldbag, I can prove that Jack Hammer stole the Steel Samurai costume. Here's my proof right here. What? What's a little empty bottle supposed to prove? It's a bottle of sleeping pills with Mr. Hammer's fingerprints on it. So what? 
What does that prove? I'm sure old Hammer had some sleepless nights, probably regretful over the fact that he never asked yours truly out on a date. Not that I would have said yes, mind you, I'm much too old for him. Anyway, Powers ate a T-bone for lunch, right? So what? It's not like he ate Otis from back in the barnyard. No, but this is the plate that he used, and there are traces of sleeping pill powder on it. Now you listen here, Whippersnapper! Hammer would never do such a... Oh, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Miss Oldbag? All right, hippies. You win. I talk. I'm tired, see? Tired of holding it all in. Miss Oldbag? You were right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A man died right here at Global Studios. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. That photo, well, as you can imagine, it caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Fast kiss. I never trusted that hussy. She has ties to the LCN, I've heard. She silenced that paparazzi right quick. That was the beginning. After that, she was a force to be reckoned with. I see. Girl, did I say I was still talking? Now stop interrupting. You have to understand. Poor old Hammer, he never meant to harm anyone. Miss Oldbag. Uh, hold on a minute. Poor Miss Oldbag. Don't pull Miss Oldbag me. I just had to run and get something. Here, take this. What, what's this? A photograph? Wait a second. This is it. The picture everyone got all worked up about. Is this the trailer in Studio 2? Look, you have to understand. Hammer was supposed to fight with the bad guy on top of those stairs there. He pushed the other actor and the man fell right onto the flower box fence. It was an accident. But how did you get this? It was a long time ago. I don't feel much like talking about it. Five-year-old photo added to the court record. Thanks, Miss Oldbag. With this, we're one step closer to proving Powers is innocent. Come on, Maya, there's no time to lose. Think back, Nick, to the day of the murder. Mr. Hammer put on the Steel Samurai costume. Then he left here to go to Studio 2? Right. But why? I wonder if someone called him, like the director or the producer. I think it's time to pay Miss Vasquez another visit. Hey, Nick, it's Miss Vasquez. Hello? H-E-L-L-O! Hello! Hi, uh, haven't you ever heard of the saying you catch more way in the pool with honey? What do you mean it's flies? Who would want to catch flies? I'm watching the clouds. Oh, okay. I used to do that a lot myself when I was a little kid, because we didn't have cable at my house. But speaking of things from the past, would you mind taking a look at this photograph? There. W wait, what? Where did you get that? Uh, Amazon? Old bag. Oh, no, what are you talking about? She means a security lady. Miss Old Bag, Nick. I was trying to protect our sources, Maya. Anyway, Miss Vasquez, you hid this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used it to control Mr. Hammer. Your conversation interests me. Let's talk about it more inside the trailer. Nick, she went inside the trailer. Yeah, I know. I'm standing right next to you. I pretty much see everything you see, Maya. Miss Vasquez, you were using that accident. You were blackmailing Mr. Hammer so you could control him, weren't you? That's why he was doing kid shows for petty change. So, I'm a blackmailer now. Well, that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean, sure, it was an accident. But you used it to drag Mr. Hammer down from his rightful place as a star! Mr. Hammer's career went sour of its own accord. But you were the cause! You pressured him! And to think it was just an accident! Excuse me, what is all of this about? You keep saying accident, accident. How are you so sure? What do you mean? Must I spell everything out for you? Think. What would it be if it wasn't an accident? No, no way! You mean Mr. Hammer did it on purpose? That is what I mean. I don't buy it. Where's your proof? Just think. Would he have let me run his life for five years over a mere accident? And I ran him hard, believe you me. But but the security lady said it was an accident. Oh? Well, she was a big fan of hammers, you see. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo into the studio. What? She wrenched it out of his hands, she did. Gave him a few bruises, too. So that's how she got it. Of course, all the reporter would need is the negatives. He could have made a copy, but he didn't. The only copy of the photo is the one you hold. Give it to me. Now. What? This is valuable evidence! Boys? Boys, why don't you get some men to... Uh, <laughs> hey, fellas, so uh, who are these well-dressed gentlemen? Professionals. What do you think? 
Would you like to be a race? Uh, thanks for the offer, but I think I'll pass. The trial ends tomorrow? How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. I can't miss court. Then I won't get my perfect attendance certificate at the end of the year. Why do you want this photograph so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt. Why should D. Vasquez care about it at all? I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to think about that where you're going. Is this the end for our heroes? No! Hold it right there! <laughs> I heard everything, pal. D. Vasquez, you're coming down to the precinct with me now! Not bad. Very well. It appears this contest will be decided tomorrow then, in court. I'll be looking forward to it. You'll be looking forward to jail. Hey! You okay, pal? I am now. Sorry, I was a little late with my entrance. I don't get many chances to practice that sort of thing. Detective Gumshoe, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was really scared. Not me, I was okay, I was scared. Huh? Uh, don't mention it, pal. Just doing my job. Detective Gumshoe? Sorry, it's just... I've wanted to say that line ever since I became a detective. I've always wanted to say, show me the money, mainly because my clients never pay. Okay. I've got one more job to do today. I'm sure we'll run into each other again soon. Hopefully under friendlier circumstances. Well, Nick, it looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this. Yeah, and I'm gonna get close to D. Vasquez's bottom. Wait, you know what I mean. October 20th, 10.00 AM, District Court, courtroom number four. Wait, October 20th? I still haven't picked out a Halloween costume yet. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Uh, very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was in fact Studio 2. Today, I will call on people present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. Miss D. Vasquez is a producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. Will the witness state her name and occupation? I dislike needless banter. If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. <laughs> v very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it! Make her pay! Right, if she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down. So to speak. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I like big I Nick! Fly. What? I'm just trying to make baby Emma laugh. I can't help if she likes her mix a lot. I entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp. There was to be a rehearsal after that. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later when we all went to Studio One. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you? The van. Hmm? There's a van at Studio Two. I had him take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk. Van added to the court record. I... I see. Very well. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it! Yeah! Alright, Miss Vasquez, I know how you hate needless banter, so let's play a little game. I spy with my little eye a glaring contradiction in your testimony. Care to guess what it is? I'll give you three guesses. Fine, I'll just tell you. You claim you ate a T-bone steak, but I say you did not. Well, what's this now, Mr. Wright? See for yourself, Judge. It's a plate? Not just any plate. This was on the table in the employee room. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? Oh, you need not remind me of anything, Edgeworth, but perhaps I should remind you about what we've heard happen. Miss Vasquez and Mr. Manella ate at a table outside the trailer, yet there were no bones left on their plates. I guess you could say they were in the Clean Plate Club, which honestly, as clubs go, is kind of lame. There's not even a clubhouse. I ate llama beans for nothing. Anyway, Miss Vasquez, tell me how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave a bone? I think I know how. D. Vasquez is secretly a Sasquatch! Or she didn't eat steak at all. 
probably took the steak and threw it somewhere. I guess the incinerator. I I see. Then what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? Well, she should have been shopping for a new dress, because she's been wearing that same outfit for the last five years. But I think she was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Order! Are you saying? Look, Your Honor, I'm just sipping my tea, minding my own business. But as Miss Vasquez left the trailer to go eat her steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai. And then she did it. Admit it, T. Vasquez. You killed him with your own hands. And then you probably took his corpse and pretended it was still alive, had crazy parties on the beach. Wait, that was weekend at Bernie's. M Mr. Wright, I isn't that a little presumptuous? Objection! What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes, ma'am, I do. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Or we could play a game of Candyland instead. Good luck, Nick. No one ever wants to settle things through Candyland. I'm too good. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh yes, the Samurai Spear. Yeah, so? I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? I don't know, I don't go to the gym with you woman, I don't know what you're benching, and I don't assume that just cause someone's not swole don't mean they're not strong. I mean, look at One Punch Man. But none of that has any bearing on this case anyway. Meaning? Meaning the samurai spear wasn't the murder weapon anyway, so I don't know why we're wasting our breath talking about it. What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. Your Honor, if there's one thing that I've learned as a defense attorney, it's that flowers aren't the only thing that can be planted. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used to kill Jack Hammer. Take a look at this so-called murder weapon. B but that is the murder weapon! Not so fast, Edgeworth. I think you're forgetting one very important detail. Remember that this spear broke during the morning action scene run-through, and then the security lady fixed it. Well, she tried to fix it with some duct tape, but tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man, one wearing a thick costume no less, through the chest with a broken prop spear? Come on! Uh, order! Order! Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what you're- Silence! I'm the one testifying here, and I will be here! <laughs> if the still samurai was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? Of course! Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. Very well. Let's see this murder weapon, then. First of all, Your Honor, my confidence is always founded on the fact that I fight for the truth. W what is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs! Well, would you look at that? Are you done being doubting Thomas now? Uh, order! Order! If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what is this all about? Hey, what is this all about suspending the trial? I thought today was the last day. Now you're telling me you might suspend things just because people are talking? Throw them out, Your Honor! Anyway, this is a photograph from five years ago of an accident that took place at Global Studios. Now, not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a very close-kept secret at What does this have to do with the current case? Interrupt much, Mr. Edgeworth? Maybe if you talked a little less and listened a little more, you'd learn a few things. See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him in the chest? <laughs> what? Are you saying- Yeah. What happened five years ago has happened again, which at this point I really hope they consider getting rid of that fence, honestly. Mr. Wright, continue. Ah, uh, it's just gonna say they should get rid of that fence, so walk with me, Judge. It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Vasquez meets Hammer outside of the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs and onto the fence, just like Mr. Hammer himself had done five years ago. Was it on accident, or was it murder? Well, Miss Vasquez? In, in other words... The victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die five years ago. Isn't it ironic? Ho oh, ho, very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. Only if I get to be head writer with a cute secretary. Let's say, for the sake of argument, that Hammer died as the trailer as you say. Yet, the body was found at Studio One, and in the evil magistrate costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One? How could I have disposed? 
disposed of the body. Logic, you foiled me again. The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death, then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? There wasn't enough time! Hmm, indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? What if she had another way to carry the body, other than with her own hands? For instance? You have a Gundam suit. No, actually, now that I think about it, there was no need for you to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. Uh, interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. Look, Your Honor, as much as I would love to believe that Gundam suits are real and that D. Vasquez used her vast TV fortune to buy one, I think we have to go with a much more likely scenario that she moved the body using the studio van. Recall her testimony from earlier, Your Honor. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. There you go, Your Honor, straight from the horse's mouth. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then before everyone else got there, you put Jack Hammer's corpse in the magistrate costume. <laughs> Objection! Hold on, right? Don't forget, it was Sal Manella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? Of course Manella was a conspirator. He's Dee's little lapdog. He'd do whatever she said. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone. And don't forget, they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. Why, you ask? Because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. I lose. You win. It was... Fun. Wait, I win? Well, that was kind of anticlimactic, but hey, a W is a W, so let the confetti fall! Uh, Judge, I think the confetti machine's broken. Can I just go home now? What would you like me to say? Well, for starters, I'd like you to admit that you killed Jack Hammer! Are you sure I did? We just engaged in a battle of wit, and the result of that battle? You proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. Right. But... That is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. White. Wait a minute. Order, Mr. Edgeworth. Your thoughts? Um, uh, of course. It's as the witness says. S certainly, it does seem very likely she did it. But there's no proof. Hmm, Edgeworth isn't sure. Well, I came here as a witness today. If you have no more questions, I'll be leaving. Wow, what do I do now? Is there evidence to prove that Vasquez is guilty? Find out next time on Ace Attorney.